Check. Check. Goddamn hell. Yo, what up? It's your boy Mir Perry. We back here in the studio for another episode of Death Dope. Now, usually I'm making a beat from scratch, but today we're doing things a little bit differently. We got a beat that is already done. Super dope. The song is finished. It's out. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Uh, the was going to be the first link in the description box. It's by me and my bro, Mike Rashid. We actually just put out a project called Dirty Angels. It's on Spotify, Tidal, iTunes Music, Google Music, Amazon Music. Wherever you can uh, stream music or find music, it's there. Go find it. Mike Rashid and Amir Perry, Dirty Angels. Anyway, one of the songs on there is called Filthy. Super fucking dope uh, song. We actually planning uh, to shoot a video for it. So. I wanted to show you guys a breakdown of each element in the beat and just kind of show you guys my thought process. All right, let's get into it. So the first sound that I picked is actually one of my go-tos, which is expand. It comes from one of my go-tos, which is expand. And you're going to see expand a lot through this video. Just I'm going to forewarn you. Like for me, expand the, the sound selection. I just know what's in there. I know where to go. I know where to find. Like if I have something in my mind or a certain tone of a sound that I want in my mind, I know how to go and expand and find it. So for me, it's just one of my go-tos. The first sound is these chords I was playing with this sound called Electric Blown. I'm gonna play the chords. All right, and I actually, took that and then I went up an octave for like four bars during the verse. So it's just the same chorus. I just took it up an octave. I'll let you hear what it sounds like. And then what I did for the chorus part is I actually did the first four bars with the lower octave and then the second four bars with the higher octave, all right? So that's that first sound. And then we added uh, this low synth lead from Expand, it's called Hardcore. It's actually a synth bass, but I'll play it, let you hear what it sounds like. All right, cool. It comes in during the verse and it also it also comes in on the first part of the chorus, uh, the first four bars of the, of the chorus. All right. So the next sound we got is a sound called Celestial uh, from Expand as well. It's a bell sound. And uh, I'm actually using a pitch bend on that bell. So that's why it sounds like that. It, it normally doesn't sound like that. Let me see. Uh, it's just straight, but. Using that pitch bend, it kind of, it changes the whole feel of the sound to me. It sounds like something out of the ordinary to me with that pitch being added in there so i actually did that by mistake i was just sitting here playing and uh i hit the pitch band and it did one note i was like that's pretty dope so i went in there and i just added it to a bunch of the notes but uh the next sound is actually a sound that's i put in there to kind of complement that sound it's called uh ambient droplets and uh it's another sound i'd expand So, so that sound right there is a, a, a sound that I put in there just to kind of, uh, like I said, complement what's going on with that other sound. If you're a producer, think about 
the texture of the sounds that you pick. Sometimes I hear sounds from uh, other producers or I hear beats from other producers and I'd be like, that sound just doesn't fit the texture of the beat. Like what made you pick that sound? Uh, you want to think about the texture of your sounds and how they mesh with everything else that's going on the beat. And those two sounds together, they, the, they, they sound kind of similar, but they just mesh together well. And like I said, the way that one is moving and the tone of it, it, it complements uh, the other sound. So those sounds are all pretty much the intro. Uh, and like I said, I'm using them throughout the the verse and also the chorus and the verse is pretty open for the most part it's really just drums so i started with the 808 so i'm gonna play the 808 and then slowly just bring in the rest of the drums So that's basically the only thing that he's rapping over besides the part, like I said, where those other instruments come in. But the 808 is beating super hard. The verse just really didn't need a whole lot, especially with uh, the way he was rapping it and how his cadence was. It just didn't need a whole lot, so I let the uh, beat breathe. The next sound that I put in is the sound called Hollow Bells. Uh, and it's just hitting on the one. It's not doing anything special for the most part. It only comes in in the verses. Let's hear what it sounds like. All right. And uh, I also have another sound hidden with that. It's a sound called... Uh, out of XL again called Kitty. I let you I'll solo it so you can hear what it sounds like. And both of those sounds, the bell and that that kitty sound, they're just hitting on the one together. Those two sounds together. Uh, to me, they just create a certain feel like, like I said, they fit with the texture of the beat. To me, this beat feels fun, but it feels aggressive at the same time to me. It's fun, but it's kind of uh, aggressive, but it also has a little bit of, I guess, soul in it, you know, uh, and that brings me to my next element that I put in there, which is my favorite part of the beat. It's a sound called voices below and it's out of XL. I'll solo it so you can hear what it's doing. And uh, that vocal sample is my favorite part of the beat uh, by far. Like I said, I love vocal samples. If you watch any of my other videos, you know I talk about my vocal samples and how much I love those. All right, so let's uh, let's keep it going. Uh, this next sound is just a sound from Silent, and it's just a, uh, I just used it coming into the verses and actually going into the choruses and coming out of the choruses. I'll solo it so you can hear it. And it's basically uh, just a rise pretty much. And uh, the last thing in the beat is actually uh, this bell sound from uh, Xpan. It's called T Tiny Octobell. And it's, uh, it's just, it's tucked real low. Like you can't even really hear it in the beat, but it just adds a feel and uh, just kind of support for everything else that's going on. But the bell and the way it's moving just, as that texture over the whole chorus to me. I'll, let, I'll solo it so you can hear what it sounds like, then I'll play it in the beat.
like I say, it's just there for texture more than anything and, and to kind of bring it all to, together. Uh, most times, a lot of times when I'm making beats for the chorus, if if I'm not breaking it down and I'm like building the chorus up, I like to have one sound uh, just that comes in in the chorus to kind of bring it all together. Uh, so let's uh, let's listen to it from the top. And that'll do it for this one. Look, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different. We didn't create something from scratch. I just wanted to give you guys a, a inside look into uh, my thought process. But shout out to my bro, Mike Rasheed. Like I said, the song, the full song, I'm gonna leave in the description box below. It's gonna be the first link in the description. Check that out. And uh, we got some new stuff coming that's crazy. I mean, what we released was just the first batch of songs. We just kind of getting warmed up, testing out the waters. We wanted to see how people will, would respond to it. But man, Man, look the response has been crazy shout out to everybody that's rocking with it uh, if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get a notification every time a new video is uploaded also if you don't already follow me on Instagram and Twitter at underscore Amir Perry and I'll catch you guys on the next one Arrivederci